What's up? This is a real quick informal recording in order to make sure that everybody is able to use the lockdown browser. And what you're seeing in the background here is a, I thought it was playing already, it's not, is a screen recording of a Zoom call that I had with one of your classmates. And <clears throat> being in my math lab and clicking on the Lockdown browser practice test, as you saw. So we're just scrolling down, clicking on that assignment. Is what you want to do in order to get access to the lockdown browser. So going into that assignment, and it's going to prompt you. Notice it says that this test requires the lockdown browser before you start following instructions. Okay. So uh, below to check your browser, and then down here it says check your browser, and. You could view a test page. I don't know that that's necessary so much, uh, but if you have not downloaded and installed the Lockdown Browser, that's your next step. So please do that, get it installed, and then come back into the assignment. And also I should note that the browser that we used for this experiment is Google Chrome. It's the only thing that I've used. I've been using so many of these online programs for uh, many years now. Google Chrome does seem to be the least glitchy, so please use that. I, I'm using it on a Mac. I used to use it on a PC. It seems to work consistently no matter um, what kind of hardware you have. Right, so once you've got it installed, come back to this assignment and then just go directly over here to click on Start Test. And I think what you'll find, let's see. Right, so we didn't click on the download browser there because she already had it downloaded and installed. And then we came up and clicked on start test. Eventually, hang on. Right, so now after clicking on start test, this prompt should come up. When you take your, when you go to take your actual test, so once that um, actual online test opens. We're going to use that for the remainder of our tests this semester. When you click on any one of those assignments, if you already have the browser, the lockdown browser installed, this window should pop up. You'll click on open lockdown browser. The lockdown browser will load basically what looks like as an overlay. I've got some black bars that I superimposed into this video um, just for privacy purposes so that um, your classmate's name didn't appear on the screen because that is a that would be a, a FERPA violation. That would be a federal violation, so we don't want that. So maintaining privacy. Uh, and notice that here we are in the lockdown browser practice test. You only have to select the one answer from here, and then you can come up and click on submit. When you're taking your actual test, You'll be, you've done this before, just not in the lockdown browser. You'll go through all of your questions. You can use the same drop down here like you normally do for homework assignments. Time remaining, that will show up here. I am giving you an hour and 45 minutes. Unless you're registered with adaptive services, then you should be able to see your additional time counting down up there. When you're finished with your actual test, you'll come up and click on the submit button. While we were working on this assignment for this um, for practice purposes, and then try um, in order to try to get a process down for getting the lockdown browser installed, we were able to get into this uh, practice test. We did not answer or choose anything from the drop down. We did not click submit. We exited out of the practice test, and then we were able to go back into it. And by we, I mean your classmate was able to get back into it and resume working on the test. What I don't remember is whether or not this time remaining countdown continued or not. My guess is that it will, because otherwise you could go in and, <clears throat> excuse me, take a quick video of all of the problems and then exit out of it, and you'd get uh, all sorts of extended time. So I don't think it's going to work that way. Of course, if it does, then I just handed you away in order to make that happen. Oops, don't do that, be honest. Come on, keep the playing field fair here. Okay, uh, the last thing I'll say is if you're 
This does not work on phones, according to what I read on Pearson's website. This does not work on tablets. One of your classmates has tried to use it on a Microsoft Surface, which supposedly has a full OS operating system. It's not um, app-based, so it should work on the Surface. However, I have not heard back from her yet to find out if she got it to work on the Surface. So be aware that you may need to get your hands on a laptop or a desktop in order to be able to use the Lockdown browser. I'm not planning to allow anyone to complete any of their online tests without the Lockdown browser, so please begin making preparations to get your hands on a laptop if at all possible.